I'm going to tell you guys about a problem that has been sweeping the nation from day one. And I'm going to tell you exactly why that I think that they need to be outlawed. Public restrooms. Public restrooms. The most disgusting, most degenerate thing that humankind has ever come up with. A public restroom is a restroom where everybody goes and sits on the exact same toilet seat as everybody else. And who knows what you're going to get out of it. It's a, it's just a spinning wheel of hope. Am I gonna get crabs today? Now let me tell you this. As a child, I used to be terrified of these public restrooms. And it doesn't matter how, how clean that it could be, how people maintained it, how, how many stalls there were. There were multiple instances that could traumatize a child for life even that I think people don't recognize whenever it comes to these atrocities that have been brought upon us. The public bathrooms are the most disgusting, inhumane area for people to spend five minutes out of their day on a day-to-day -day basis. You remember the cavemen, they all just went outside. They all just went and did whatever the hell they needed to outside. You pop a squat, you whip it out, whatever you wanted to do, right outside. And you know what? You know what the way to rinse it away was? rain showers baby but whenever it comes to these public restrooms oh the porcelain throne of terror you you sit down on there you can't tell if someone has actually made it into the bowl so if you're not actually paying attention to what you're about to sit in you're gonna sit down and all of a sudden realize wait a minute someone left their golden shower here what is up with that don't even get me started if you happen to find something that came out the other end like that that would just be a travesty right there once you get seated on there you sit down you're you're getting all comfortable you pull out your phone because what else are you going to do while you're taking a shit besides doing that specific act and you're sitting there and you're playing sudoku on your phone and then you're ready to get up but wait the golden rule always wipe before getting up and i know that that's another debate for another topic but to be honest with you jay schlatt had already talked about it so go ahead and take a look at his video if you want to talk about how you wipe but either way while you're there you're ready to wipe and so you reach over to the toilet paper that's just a little too far from your reach and you reach over there and you grab the two plies that only come off because some businesses don't happen to let it get out as much as you're actually wanting it to. You just get those two plies. And if you are not careful and the finger snaps through, then you're going to have a bad day, buddy. So after you get the toilet paper and you bring it over to yourself and you're getting ready to wipe. I'm not going to demonstrate, though, because I don't want Susan to be upset. Once you are there, you get done. And then whenever you lean just a hair to the left or to the right, the toilet goes off. It starts ocean man playing in the background, L little roaches like swinging around on a turd in the middle of the, the, the toilet. You've seen it all before. You've seen all the Halloween movies where they like to m make fun of toilet humor and stuff. That's what happens. You are sitting there on the toilet. Now, if it's not an automatic toilet, those are the pristine ones. Less clean, less clean. A lot more shit stains than the other one. But those are the pristine porcelain thrones. Because whenever you move, those things won't go off on you. I, I can't even tell you how many times. I'm only halfway done. I haven't even moved a muscle. I am sitting there glued to the seat. And then all of a sudden it just starts flushing. And then I'm like, oh, well, I wasn't even done yet. Now you made me look like a fool. And I hated every single moment of it. Whenever it comes to how people treat the restrooms, you go into these gas stations, you see all the graffiti that's been keyed and scratched into the toilet paper holder. And then you're looking there and you're just like, Sally 5550189. Oh, well, I mean, I guess I could give her a call. I mean, we, we could see what's going on there. We're unable to complete your call. To speak to a customer service representative, please hang up and dial stars. I don't think that it was a real number. But regardless of that, Sally doesn't answer your calls. And you see, like, some of the people are in so much pain about different problems that are going on in this world. Trump and Biden and all the government officials, they all have their names written there. It's almost like the shitty Hollywood Walk of Fame. They, there's names and numbers and 
threats and all sorts of stuff sitting there in that bathroom and you just have to sit there and look at it the entire time all you're just trying to do is you're trying to have a good time with your family go out have some fun go to a nice restaurant and then you walk into the public restroom of whatever facility or business that you are at and then you see that and you have to just sit there and stare at it constantly over and over until everything gets out of your system and then by the time you're gone you feel even worse about using that bathroom because why would you want to go in there into a bathroom that's just t talking dirty while you're doing the dirty that's not right that's not a good thing and then not to mention the people who also like to leave treats inside of the light socket because sometimes they don't want to take it home because they want to try to save it for later and they know that they're going to be back the next day. So they leave their little bag of sugar sitting inside the light switch. And I mean, unless you're drinking tea there in the bathroom, I don't really know how well that sugar will be by that time because they probably forgot about it. Probably won't come back for another two or three weeks. And that is a very, very, very big waste of sugar and i don't know why they continue to do it but if you're one of the lucky few to get some of that please let me know down in the comments what what it kind of tasted like did it taste good in your food did it taste good in your drink let me know but either way public restrooms are one of the most disgusting degenerate things to have ever happened to this world and they need to be outlawed if you cannot have a gold porcelain throne separate stalls for everybody you're sitting there in your cubicle working on your long projects all day and night and if you can't have a golden toilet in the corner of your cubicle that you can have the most private interaction that you can fart fan sticking out the bottom because you're going to have the cleanest and freshest of air and you won't be bothering your co-workers because your co-workers will have the same things at their cubicle you never have to leave you never have to do anything in fact with every golden toilet it would also give you your own personal butler how cool would that be but no we have to do this shared system where everybody has to have the public restrooms that people like to tear up and scrutinize and brutalize and, and make the experience of taking a shit harder than it has to be. I don't know, it's probably on par with childbirth at that point, but that's needless to say, n neither here nor there. So what I want you guys to know is every time you go into a public restroom, you will be thinking of me and you'll be thinking that one dude on the internet is right. These are the most disgusting, inhumane ways to go and use the restroom. And whenever you decide that you will not use the public restroom again and you will actually go to the top of your local grocery store and piss off the roof just remember you heard it from indica 420 on youtube like that don't 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 mention me don't mention me like I'm, I'm not even saying that you should go and do that but if you happen to do it by any way shape or form that, that just, just say you heard it from Indica 420, okay? Like, I, I, I you, you didn't hear it from Mambo Jake, okay? You heard it from PewDiePie. Pew, PewDiePie said it, okay? All right. We're we're on the same we're on the same page here, right? We're we're, we're on the same page. Oh, okay. This was my TED talk. Would you like to donate your fat stacks of cash to a good charity? Click the link in the description to go to my Movember page. All proceeds go toward the benefit of men's health. But if you can't donate, grow a mustache. As you can see, I've been fertilizing mine. Donate to Movember.